One. Hey, what's up, my dudes? My name's Mayu, and I like Tarkov. I hope you do too, uh, because this video is going to be about Tarkov, specifically about uh, playing as a scav on Reserve. Now, Reserve is one of the best maps to play scav on, in my opinion. There's a lot of high tier loot, and there's raiders, and there is a boss. Uh, we're going to go over a couple of weapon spawns that can increase your odds of taking down said raiders and bosses, and a little bit about how you can overcome them if you're a new player. Specifically the raiders, uh, the boss is always a tricky, super tricky to get to get, to get kills on, but uh, I'll talk about that later. Uh, before we start the video, I just want to shout out my Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 Central European Time at uh, twitch.tv slash mayu. The link is below in the description. If you enjoy the video, maybe drop by and say hello. Anyway, let's get started with the video, starting with the weapon spawns. First thing I want to show you is this gun spawn right here in this in this uh, Black Knight. It spawns on top of uh, on top of this uh, vehicle right here. Uh, it's an AK-74 with a couple of nice mods. It's one of those that you can get from a reward from uh, uh, from drops, I believe. Uh, it's pretty nice if you find it as a scam. Uh, also worth checking out on top of this building. In the or on the mattress, you can find an SVD. Second off, we have the White Bishop building. This is a medical building, and in here you can actually find a lot of supplies for your scab. You can also find a fully decked out weapon right here. Uh, another room that is worth checking out is the one in the corridor here, with the with the all the crates and stuff. You can see there's an uh, ibuprofen here. We can find stuff like uh, survival kits, salewas, and all those high tier stuff. Next one is the APC out in the field. This one actually uh, spawns both meds and an M4. Uh, so you can see we're finding an M4, quite lucky. This is of course offline raid, so uh, it's not it's not quite always there. It might be worth checking out if you uh, if you dare and if you don't have anything on your on your scab. Next one is Black Pawn. Uh, this building has tons of loot. It can also have uh, the scab boss inside, so uh, be a little bit careful if you're early on in the in the raid as well uh, be careful of people going to the mark room in the uh, cellar is it called a cellar or is it called like a, i don't know basement probably uh, but anyway over here under this tent there spawns an svd in this corner right here uh, can be quite nice and uh, profitable to to get that svd of course if you if you get it you get it with pretty good ammo as well you can load it with uh, with some good ammo if you are lucky next up we teleport to the the field in front of the barracks over here and, and in front of the train station this area can spawn ammunition as well as a fully decked out ak somewhere around here i've heard it i've never seen it myself but i have heard it from credible sources tm <laughs> so take it for uh, for what you will i usually don't check it out because it's so exposed next up we have the white knight building or uh, train station if you want to um, you have a bunch of spawns here back behind us on that uh, little box there there's a port spawn over here they can spawn paracords in these shelves as well um, it's worth checking out if you're uh, if you're early on and uh, you can pretty much tell if it has been looted if this door behind us right here is uh, is opened or not uh, but if you drop down this way you don't have to make a, an annoying jump and right here on these green boxes you have the you have the AK that spawns with a TT-10,000 rail That's uh, that at least last wipe was very expensive. Uh, the second uh, thing I want to show you is uh, there's a, a baby AK spawn. It's not here, uh, even though I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm not sure why. Uh, but over here at this tank or anti-aircraft missile uh, tank or whatever it is, I think it spawns right on these shelves right here. Uh, I've gotten it a couple of times and it's quite nice. The next thing I want to talk about is raiders. Now bear with me, this is going to get a little bit technical for the new players, but there are four types of players and enemies in the game. Uh, you have regular scabs, you have raiders, you have 
bodyguards and, and bosses. And you have other players. So that's four, player, four different type of enemies you got in the game. Now, on reserve, what's so great about it is that it has bosses, bodyguard... Uh, Bosses, uh, boss and its bodyguard, his, his name is Gluhar. Uh, you got raiders and, of course, uh, raider scams and players. Now, the raiders and the boss and his bodyguards has very good loot that is very sought after. It usually sells for a lot of money and is very, very good to use. So one of the things that makes reserve so, so good is that you can actually farm this gear on this map. Now... Uh, of course, they have more advanced weapons and more advanced armor, so you need to know how to kill them um, and when and where you can find them. So let's start off with the bodyguard uh, and the boss. I don't know why I keep saying it like that, but the the boss, Gluhar, can spawn with up to seven guards, I think it is. And if he spawns in his full uh, ensemble, uh, you are pretty much fucked. Uh, <laughs> Unless you manage to somehow cheese him, which is possible, uh, it's just very hard. Or if you're a group of players, uh, you got loot for days. Loot galore. Everybody gets a gun, everybody gets multiple pieces of armor and shit. It's really good if you do. He drops really, really cool, like an Ash-12. He can have an M1A, uh, M1A. He can have all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, so if you manage to kill him, well, GG. Better go do uh, extract with that loot. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the raiders. Now, there is a couple of faces on the map that have a potential to spawn raiders. It's never a guarantee that it, that raiders will spawn, but the first thing that can spawn a raider on the map is when somebody pulls the lever to set off the alarm, uh, the annoying alarm you hear from time to time, and uh, activate the bunker. That can spawn up to, I believe, four raiders. Uh, and that can happen at any time, so you may have noticed if you play reserve and you load in as a PMC, somebody always pu pu pulls the fucking lever immediately. Uh, it's not just to annoy you, it's also to see uh, or maybe perhaps spawn those raiders. Um, the second event that can spawn raiders is when uh, the train arrives. The train arrives some s when it's less than 20 minutes left. Uh, and it can also spawn, I think, up to four raiders as well. I think, but this is this is nothing that I have confirmed. But my suspicion is that depending on, on how if Gluhar spawns and how many bodyguards he has, uh, that regulates how many raiders will spawn. Um, so you can use this to your advantage. The knowledge that um, the alarm can spawn and the train can spawn, you can use this to sort of mosey your way through the map until you notice any of these events and then try to set up an uh, ambush to kill these. So that leads us into the next thing. How do you kill these? There's a couple of um, nice spots that I like to use that I will show you just now. See that we are in uh, the scav tower. We just heard the train arrives, which means that there's a potential that raiders can spawn. Uh, so what I'm looking to do here is find if there's raiders and if there is uh, try to aggro them. So I take a couple of pot shot at this scab. It drops very easily, which begs me to believe that it's not a scab. Uh, later on, I hear some sniper shots, but uh, I think that they might be shooting at the raiders. I think I spot something here, and I see the the nade fly, which is an immediate like alert that this is probably scabs, uh, scab raiders, and uh, it's time to farm them. So this spot right here in inside the staircase is really good for baiting them out. You can hear them kind of walking in, and that's the cue for when you should uh, camp out. So clear our inventory a bit, prepare to, to loot quickly, because grabbing these boys' guns is going to increase our chances of killing them, killing them if there's even more. So we hear the voice, we hear the footsteps. He walks in with the ass towards us for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why the Raiders does that. But that's, uh, I guess, how it goes. We can hear that there's more footsteps, but I, uh, I uh, quickly loot the first one. Uh, try to get grenades because a grenade seems to be able to put them into sort of like a investigation mode. So if you if you are if you dare, you can uh, you can go and uh, and loot them real quick. I throw out a grenade, and this seems to alert them. You can hear the voices as well. And we just wait out and uh, kill them. They quickly move in here. You can 
just see see the loot here from uh, from killing. I think this was four raiders. Pretty much uh, don't know what to do with all of the things. One of the things I could have done to min max a little bit is to throw out the knife and and uh, put the antique knives on on my body here, I guess. But you saw the loot, and it's time for extract. What I want to show you next is a couple of nice spots from inside the train station that you can use if you want to farm raiders or just get like sneaky spots. So in the corner here, you can jump up on this railing. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, uh, but you can get a really nice view out on the scab tower and in front of uh, in front of the train station. You can see if Rashal or his goons is down there, which he actually is this raid, but I'm just not spotting them at the moment. Uh, be careful so you don't fall down, by the way. You will break your legs if you fall down next to the train. Uh, the next one I want to show is this little sneaky thing here. Notice down in the left bottom that I slow down my walking speed to half and then jump up on this railing. This also makes you able to stand here and, and overwatch, and you can actually spot, if you have good eyes, you can spot to the right. The Rishal and the goons are actually there. I hope you enjoyed the videos as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you learned something new, please do tell me in the comments below. The scaving on reserve is probably one of the most profitable things you can do in Tarkov at the moment, since you can't really scab lab, can you? But uh, anyway, uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to ask me. You can drop a drop a suggestion in the in the comments below. You can also tell me if you learned something from the video. That would be awesome. Uh, it would mean the world to me to know that somebody actually learned something from one of my videos and would motivate me to do so much more videos. And I, I that would yeah. <laughs> If you want to get notified about new videos, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It would really mean the world to me. I'll uh, see you in the next video. See ya!